Good morning, everyone. Hope everybody out there is having a good Wednesday. Getting ready to do part two of our 1991 tracks box break here. Uh, we just got through the Kansas race this weekend. Kind of a controversial finish if any of you guys watched that one. It was a pretty good race. We now move to the uh, round of eight. Uh, three race series for the uh, Monster Energy NASCAR Cup Series, so we'll see who will be the final four drivers to make it onto Homestead to drive for the championship. To recap a couple of our hits, I guess you could say that we had on Sunday, we did pull a few different Dale Earnhardt cards here. The Cup Series and the Bush Series driver cards. We did have a Teresa Earnhardt card. One of my favorite cards in the whole set, the Alan Quickie card with him in front of his shop. And we did pull one of the Jeff Gordon 1991 Tracks rookie cards, slightly off-center. There, there you see probably 30, 70, maybe 60, 40 centering, but still a very, very nice card of Jeff Gordon. So we'll go ahead and continue with these packs. See if we can pull a second Jeff Gordon. Again, I'll open these off-camera. That sound can be a little distracting. Maybe turn some people away from... And looky there. First card we pull out of the next pack is a Jeff Gordon rookie card. Still a little little slightly off, a little bit better centered. That one looks closer to 100% centering. Let's go ahead and sleeve that one up real quick. Always nice when the first card right out of the box is the card that you're looking for. So we'll get a rookie sleeve for that one. Put it off to the side. Now we'll rapid fire through these cards. Todd Bodine rookie card. Todd is a two-time Truck Series champion. Kyle Petty, who was injured in 1991 at Talladega, actually broke his leg in the multi-car crash in the Winston 500. Dave Marcus. Jimmy Martin. Leo Jackson, car owner. Stavola Brothers Racing. Stavola Brothers were a brother pair out of New Jersey who owned a mining company and got into NASCAR in the mid-80s. Joe Moore and Tim Petty. Tim Petty rounds up that pack. Rick Wilson leads off our next pack. He was the driver for the Stavola Brothers in 91. Don Miller, Roger Pinsky's business partner. Tim Morgan, one of the owners of the Morgan McClure car. Here's another Allen Quickie car. Allen was an owner driver. Allen also had a degree in mechanical engineering and was very, very into setting up his own cars and didn't like people tinkering with them. Terry Labonte. Barney Hall, former MRN uh, commentator that passed away a few years ago. Very well liked by his peers. And another transporter card. Again, the transporter cards are checklists. 200 cards in this set. So there are eight checklists altogether. These packs are a little obnoxious to open, so they're a little loud. High Speed Chaos, again here's the photo from the 1991st Union 400, or I'm sorry, 1991, again the 75 car, let's us know that that is a picture from 91. Barry Dotson, no longer with us, neither is Chuck Ryder. A lot of crew chiefs in this one, Joe Nemechek, rookie card, nice card. Morgan Shepard Bush series car. Morgan still races in the Xfinity Series to this day. David Ift. Winston Kelly with MRN, who is still a reporter with them, I believe. I don't listen to many MRN races, but John Wilson. We talked about Bill Broderick in the last episode, the Union 76 representative. Scott Kluka and another Tim Petty. Mark Martin back in his Folgers day. Kenny driving for Rick Hendrick. Another Don Miller. 
Trickle. Tom Peck, that is his rookie card. Longtime Bush Series driver. Again, you can see a lot of uh, people affiliated with Dale Earnhardt's team. Crewmen, business associates, and such. Dale was a very popular driver. And the year after he passed away, he was the fourth highest deceased celebrity in terms of merchandise sales for that year. I believe Elvis Presley and Jim Morrison were uh, two of them ahead of him. I cannot remember the third person. Nice Alan Quickie card again. Really like that card. I'll set that one off to the side. Neil Bonnet. So as you can see, there's not really any real pattern to what, what to expect in, in this, even though it's an early 90s pack, an early run of racing cards. Some packs have definite patterns. This particular uh, box doesn't have a pattern, so that's very good. Tom Higgins passed away a few years ago. Tom was a reporter for the Charlotte Observer. So we'll look at this again, and you see that the cards are uh, have little logos here that signify what the person on the flip side or on the front side of the card, how their affiliation was with a team or within the sport. Clyde McLeod and 66 Holler. Looks like we got about a dozen more packs here to get through real quick. I was hoping to get through all of them on the first day. Didn't realize it was going to take as long as it did. Another Rick Wilson. Now this is a unique card, the Sabco Coach. Felix Sabatis had a coach, one of the first drivers to start, or one of the first owners to start using the motor coach. So if you want to pause that and read that real quick. Many of the top drivers do use motor coaches to this day. Uh, Chuck Bound, 1990 Bush Series champion. Dave Rizendis, that's his rookie card. Another Richard Petty. Cecil Gordon, we spoke about him in the last episode. Though we've seen this guy, Ed Whitaker, he had a very strong Bush Series car back in the 80s and 90s. Lake Speed, Jimmy Means, a longtime independent. And the Goodrich Transporter. Troy BB rookie card. Troy was a West Coast driver that came east to run in the Bush Series in the 90s. Very nice. Davy Allison. We have a Davy Allison card here. Davy tragically killed in July of 93 in a helicopter crash while attempting to land in the Talladega infield. Ted Musgrave, 1991 Rookie of the Year competitor. Later would become a Truck Series champion. Glenn Wood. Donnie Wingo, we mentioned he's still with Front Row Motorsports. David Green, rookie card. David was also the 1994 Bush Series champion and a 1997 Winston Cup Rookie of the Year competitor. Steve Wade, Hendrick Motorsports. And the Motorcraft Transporter, Bud Moore's team. Ernie Irvin's Bush Series team. Morgan Shepard, 1991. Phil Parsons, Diamond Ridge. Phil jumped from team to team during this era before forming his own Bush Series team. Tommy Ellis, 1988 Bush Series champion. Um, Joe Nemechek, another rookie. couple of Mark Martin's guys there. Jim Phillips with MRM, Eli Gold with MRN, Linda Petty, Steve Bird, Joey Knuckles, and Patriotic Statement. So again, if you want to read that card, go ahead and pause that. Give you an opportunity to read about the Patriotic Statement from the 1991 Daytona 500. 
As you know, we were under Operation Desert Storm at the time, so five teams were picked by R.J. Reynolds to represent the five armed forces. Eddie Lanier, Michael Waltrip, Winston Cup driver. Nice, nice card of Richard Petty there. Kale Yarborough. Mike Beam, who is Sterling Marlin's crew chief at this time. Again, he's a president, I believe, of uh, Gallagher Motorsports. He's in, a, in an executive role for Gallagher Motorsports. Elton Sawyer and Patty Melise. Elton is currently a NASCAR official, but this was the first husband and wife duo to ever race in a national series. Morgan Shepard's Bush Series car, Red Farmer, we talked about him a little bit. John Irvin, longtime Dale Jarrett Bush Series crew chief. Papa Joe Hendrick, he was a longtime owner of the 25 car, or listed as the owner of the 25 car. He is the father of Rick Hendrick, current NASCAR car owner. D.K. Ulrich, the Ulrich name may be familiar to some of you people. He is the adopted uncle of Skeet Ulrich. Another Teresa Earnhardt card, and another nice Richard Petty card. Always enjoy Richard Petty cards from this era. 1991 was Richard's penultimate season. Another Hut Strickland card. A lot of NASCAR fans do not know Hut's first real name is Waymond, with a W. Jeff Hammond. Works for PRN now, I believe. Performance Racing Network. Steve Grissom. Dale Inman, who's currently still associated with Richard Petty Motorsports, but more to an executive capacity. And the not the driver, Jimmy Johnson, nor the Dallas Cowboys-affiliated Jimmy Johnson. Doug Williams, crew chief on Kelly Yarbrough's team at the time, Jimmy Spencer, mentioned he got his first career top fives in this car in 91, Eddie Jones. Davey Allison, a nice Davey Allison card, L.D. Ottinger. And Dr. Jerry Punch. Dr. Punch, one of the more popular figures during this era for ESPN. Again, Got our next pack here. High Speed Chaos leads the way. Uh, again, 1991 First Union 400. Mike Wallace rookie card. Nice card there. Dale Jarrett Bush series card. A little bit of quality control here. Having to flip back and forth, but no big deal. And another Tim Petty. I think we've probably about had seven Tim Petty cards. Rather had seven Jeff Gordons, but I'll take the two that we've got so far. Maybe we'll get a third one in these last five packs or so. Very nice Rusty Wallace card. Rusty's first year driving for Roger Penske in 1991. He had two wins that season. Kirk Shelmerding, crew chief for Dale Earnhardt during this era, would later go on to drive in the Bush Series and in the Arca Series and win a few times in the Arca Series. He was recently on the Dale Jr. Download podcast, had a very good interview. Recommend everybody go back and listen to that. Max Helton, we'll mention him. Brooks, John Wilson, a lot of crew chiefs here, Andy Petrie who was Harry Gant's crew chief during this time, and a nice Dale Earnhardt Bush Series driver card. Looks like we got about four more packs to go in this round. And back-to-back -back Dale Earnhardt cards. Really like that. That is, is his Cup Series card. So we have a Sterling Marlin, Kenny Wallace, Doug Reichert, Again, some of these crew chiefs, oh, very nice, another Alan Kowicki card, really like that one. Some of these crew chiefs and owners and crew members and officials and such, these will also be their rookie cards as well, but I didn't want to go through every single rookie card, so we will just focus on driver rookies. So that's why some of these guys aren't getting quite the descriptions. 
but you can always look those up on in the Beckett or on the some of the other trading card websites that will help you out in that. I like to use TradingCardDB.com, Trading Card Database. They have a lot of great information on that site as well. So that's TradingCardDB.com. We have Ernie Irvin here. Chocolate Myers, who has a program on Sirius XM. Very, very popular guy. Mark Martin again. Robert Presley. Hank Jones, member of Dale Earnhardt's team at the time. Eddie Wood, part of the Wood Brothers team. Rusty again. Benny Parsons. And the Mellow Yellow Transporter. And we are our last pack here. Last pack of our 1991 Tracks box. So glad you all came back for part two. Wanted to see what we pulled out of this. So we have Ricky Rudd there. Starts off. Barry Dotson, are we going to get another Jeff Gordon? I hope we get another Gordon. Magic Shoes McLaughlin, rookie card there. Mike McLaughlin, modified ace who came down to the Bush Series. Did very well, had a very nice career. I believe he eventually became a driver coach for Joe Gibbs Racing. Michael Waltrip, Terry Labonte. Another nice Dale Earnhardt card, I really like that one. Bush Series card. Lynn Wood, Eddie's brother. Of course, we talked a little bit about Rob Moroso, 1990 Rookie of the Year in the Cup Series. Jack Steele, Scott Houston, son of Tommy Houston. Bill Davis, this is the guy that Jeff Gordon was driving for in 1991 and 92 in the Bush Series. He would later have a team in the Cup Series and some controversy with Dodge and Toyota. You, you can look that one up on Google if you would like. Rusty Wallace, and our final card is the Goodwrench Transporter. So the Goodwrench Transporter has two different cards. I think I like this one a little bit better. That way you can see the whole rig versus just the roof. Nice little backdrop there of some trees, a little bit of the horizon as well. So I hope everybody enjoyed this second video, uh, chronicling the opening of the 1992 or 1991 uh, tracks box. Again, we get to 100 subs. It'll be one lucky viewer. We'll get this. Tony Stewart, 1998 VIP Rookie Card. I know I keep shilling this on here, but we have to get 100, 100 subs on here. So please help me out here. Keep keep uh, hitting those sub buttons. Let your friends, family, coworkers, whoever know. So hit that sub button. Hit that like button. And everybody have a good day. Thanks for watching.